The energy transition means moving from this era to this era. Yes, this is a slight exaggeration, but it's to emphasize the fact that we are really in the thick of it. Everyone has now heard of renewable energy sources, wind turbines, solar panels, biomass, etc. They are now developing primarily at a local level to produce green energy as close as possible to the place in which it is needed and to take into account local resources. Connected to heating networks, these sources already supply many urban areas across Europe. For example, in Hamburg, Germany, a solar heating system and two boilers fired with wood pellets can heat an entire residential neighborhood. Amazing, isn't it? Furthermore, it creates jobs in the region. However, the most economical type of energy is still the energy we don't consume, of course. Nowadays, you are all careful with your energy consumption, for the sake of the planet, but also for the sake of your wallet. This is known as energy efficiency, which is the job of thousands of men who work every day to optimize the energy consumption of schools, offices, shopping centers, etc., and now use highly innovative digital tools. This is the era of smart grids, smart electricity meters, more efficient management tools, etc. The world is moving on, yeah. energy is moving on, so let's get moving together. Okay, calm down, calm down. Go on, off you go. Okay, now let's look at these offices. At first sight, there is nothing special about them. However, each room is equipped with well-insulated windows, and consumption is metered, monitored, and controlled in real time by energy efficiency professionals. For this cinema here, the teams have suggested installing presence sensors. They're right, there's no point in heating an empty theater. The energy transition is really everyone's business, and to ensure that everyone feels concerned, we need to provide information, feature short films for example, organize visits to energy production plants, and so on. We also need to give a lot of talks in schools, where enhancing young people's awareness is essential. No, Martin, you don't open the window in a heated room. All of these eco-gestures and eco-tips must become a habit for us, because without responsible consumers, we won't be able to meet the challenge of the energy transition.